In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how to make a line appear and move in two directions at the same time. Ever since I started using PowerDirector, I watched commercials more carefully. And I watched them do things and asked myself, how did they do that? And one thing I'd like to illustrate with this fake commercial here, under Central Mercedes, as I play this, you'll see a line appear in the middle and then expand in two directions at once. Let me play it and I'll show you what I mean. There, that's simple. We'll go ahead and do it one more time. See how it moves and expands in both directions. I think it's a nice effect and we could use it to underscore anything uh, in any area of a production. How do you do that? Well, I'd like to show you one way that I discovered that made it work for me. The first thing I needed in order to do this was a line. So uh, you can take any graphics design program. I'm using Photoshop Elements and I'm going to create a document and simply draw a line of the color I want. I click on the file menu in Photoshop and I'm going to click on new and create a blank file. The size doesn't matter. You don't want it too large. I'm using 1100 by 120 pixels. That's bigger than what I do need, but I want to make sure the background contents are sent to transparent. I'll click OK. And now I need a line so and a color. I'm going to pick the color black. And then I'm going to use my pencil tool. And here is where I decide how thick I want it to be. Uh, let me try, I could try three or four pixels, that probably would be thick enough. And to draw a straight line, you hold the shift key down and press the left mouse button and just draw for about how long you want your line to be and let go. And in this case, I'm going to crop the image because I don't need the whole thing here. So I'll take my crop tool and I'll give myself a little extra room so I can move it around on the screen and then I will save it like this and then we'll go file save as and I'll save it as a PNG file which allows for transparency I'll, I'll call this the test line and save and click on OK now you may use a different graphic program to get a line but basically you need to treat it like a graphic so when that's done I go back to PowerDirector in PowerDirector, now I have the rest of my uh, design. So what I'm going to do is right-click and import a media file. And I'll click on test line here. And it imported it into my document. Now I'm going to take it and drag it down onto my track number two. And there is my line. I'll make things a little bigger so we can see exactly what we're doing. And uh, I can resize it uh, to fit uh, what I want. I just want it under the central Mercedes. And we'll resize it a little bit smaller yet. And see if this is approximately what I want. And when I reposition it, a little bigger. Okay. Takes a little... Uh, finagling to get it exactly where you want, but uh, I'll leave it at that for now. That's good enough for an example. I'll move it up. There we go. Now this is the way I want it to look when it's finished. So what I'm going to do is uh, now that I'm in this graphic, I'm going to get into the edit mode. So I'll double click on, on it. And now I'll have to make the edit screen smaller. Okay, this is my test line. And I'm going to look at the scale. I'll use a keyframe here. And about, uh, what, let's say we want this to be this, this um, fully developed, maybe, oh, what, uh, 20 frames out of 30 frames, two-thirds of a second. Let's do 25. That we, way we can see it at 25 frames, a little over two-thirds of a second, 
I want the scale of this graphic to be set. So I move my scrubber to that point in time. I click on the left to the scale and I click the diamond and I just set a diamond. Now I'm going to move all the way to the beginning and um, we're going to set another keyframe by clicking a diamond here. Now anything I do to change it at this point in time will affect this keyframe. So what I want to do is I want to change the scale of, of the line only. I could try to mess with it with the, the mouse and alter it and change it and move it. Easier way is the slider on the left. Here's the scale. It gives the width. I'm not going to mess with the height, the, but the width of the object. And what I'm going to do is drag it down to 0 0.001. OK. And now that is the scale at this point in time. And I'll click on OK. Now when I go back to the beginning of my clip okay I have this part appearing and I'll click my play button and we see that the central Mercedes the line grows it appears to grow from the middle and moves in both directions and then the other features that I've uh, built into my title also work on the clip we'll, I'll show it one more time and it go, begins in the middle and draws out I can make another one that would uh, be at the same location at the top. And so it, yeah, I could have it happen twice or as many times as I want. But it's a nice little effect when you say, how do I not move a line and not make a line appear or disappear? But how do I make it look like it, I'm drawing it from the middle out? And this is a simple way I found of emulating something that I see frequently um, in commercials. So uh, take the things you see, uh, pull them inside out and see if you can solve some problems like that yourself.